the future of rap music. It has not been explosive. It has not been intriguing. It has not been interesting probably since 2016 maybe. I'm going to tell you why, but I'm also going to tell you exactly what it is that is going to trigger the next pop in rap music. First of all, if you don't know me, my name is Justin Omoe. I make videos creating music. So if you like me for that, follow me. And for those who were watching me, I couldn't record last week. I got stung by a wasp right here. Does it look like a motherfucker laid a hand on me? Man, you should have seen how I bobbed and weaved that shit, man. Bobbed and weaved. So if you haven't noticed, rap music nowadays, and I'll ask you this right now, you could drop it in the comments too. Have you felt like rap music actually sticks to you? Most of the music that you hear nowadays, does it feel like you could stick to the song, you could listen to it lyric for lyric, or you could even recite it lyric for lyric? Chances are, if you didn't listen to Eminem's last album, or maybe there's some other big already famous rappers, I don't know, Lil Wayne or something, whatever, I'm not including them. I'm not including them in this. I'm talking about upcoming rappers, all right? And just to give you my idea on this, I have the Double XL Freshman 2024 this year. I went and I listened to them and yeah, you're going to you're going to get this common pattern here. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of each of these artists. Big X the plug, all right? And I did write this down, so I'll just read it off on here. He sounds like a punching rapper. None of the lyrics that he, you know, said stick to him. Although I did see a video of him with his crew like two or three different people and I, I like when I see rappers bringing their friends or close ones along in the music to like pull them through you know like straight up like Gucci man Waka Flocka OJ kind of thing that Mexican OT there's one of his songs he literally says that he just rhymes word he doesn't know how to rap and y'all still listen to him <laughs> but similar nothing really sticks it's just a bunch of relying on rhyming and sounding fast and sound like do that little grrr. i guess that's really what it is that kind of pulled him up plus i've seen him do videos with johnny dang and stuff i'm not trying to diss anybody here by the way i'm just stating what it is lay banks um i think that was that bony chick degenerate lyrics about sexual themes so yeah there you go boss man d -Lo, drug producing and selling that's that's really it i mean Honestly, there's nothing wrong about having a story about drug producing and selling. Nothing wrong about making music about murdering and killing. I I, I mean this in the this way. There's no problem about you making a song as long as that song has a artist or a story direction and it sticks. Not if you're punching in, oh, I'm doing this, I'm selling the drugs, I'm doing this, I'll get in the bitch. And, you know, you're jumping into sexual themes and stuff. It's like, it, it's just, what's the word? Content filler, just to make you sound good. The beats is what's carrying these people. Now, if you want to hear the complete opposite of what I mean, go listen to Waka Flocka Flame, of course, from my dogs. You can hear the vocals or the lyrics is what captures the song people are listening for the lyrics and not for the beat i'm a ride i'm a steal i'm a kill yes it is negative themes but it does stick to its word it's like hey i am listening and i am paying attention unlike these new rappers rich amiri mumbling styles travis scott effect vocal style he sounds like future a little bit Lyrics again doesn't stick, jumping around like the other punching rappers like I mentioned. They got the, the another female rapper called Scarlip. At least she stays on topic, but still promoting degeneracy. Of course, women shaking their ass and sexual stuff like that. I don't know how to mention this guy's name, Hun Hunexo? Hun Hundo maybe? I don't know. Why, why do people put their X's and dollar signs? I don't know. Hun X Ho. Hun, hun, hun Ho. But this is actually the only reasonable artist that I've seen in the entire list, per se. Like, you're actually listening to this artist for what he says. And his music does feel like it has a little bit of, like, hey, I'm going to work with the lyrics. You know, instead of, hey, it's a beat. Just listen to the beat and then hear the vocals stacked on top type of thing. Uh, Four Bats. There's only a couple of songs, so I can't judge. I'm pretty sure this is the third female here and is just... Yeah, the third and last one, Maya the Dawn. Of course, degenerate shit. Women talking about sucking stuff. Cash Cobain, it's the same shenanigans. And then the last person here is Skilla, which sounds like he's slurring words and relies on strong beats and sounds that sound good instead of actual lyrics. So if you haven't noticed the pattern, the female rappers are all speaking degenerate shit. And yes, there was a lot of pop off for female rappers within the last two, three years. Of course, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, other female rappers, but you can easily see they're all speaking about degenerate shit. It is going to flip. 
And the male rappers, they're just relying on strong beats or sounding cool instead of actually having words to say. Minus that one guy I mentioned, um, Hundex Ho, Hund, Hund Ho, Hun Cross Ho. And I say this to say this. When people get fed up with hearing degenerate stuff left and right, there is going to be a clap back, all right? So they say strong men create easier times easier times create weak men weak men create weak times that's where we're at right now if you haven't noticed there's a lot of rise in the religious aspect of things on twitter on youtube you have of course the andrew tate you got the sneeko you got young don for the christian side i guess but there's a lot of people on tiktok youtube that is representing of course christianity Islam, Judaism, not really. There's only one person I ever seen, but that was like years ago. I don't know. That's actually pushing back this degenerate agenda that is around right now. Even Eminem is starting to fire by, you know, talking this shit and being like, yo, back in 2016, it was about doing drugs, taking pills or whatever. Then we went into the female rappers talking about degeneracy yet again. Now we're at the point where people are fed up with these topics and they realize, hey man, these, these songs are just fast food it just goes through in and out i'm not gonna lie when i go to the gym i got youtube music downloaded and i do have an album of little baby the one with the the orangish yellowish background and anytime i hear a song i'm like i still don't know what the hell he's saying or i, I still can't comprehend this so i'm gonna skip the song that is the mentality that we have as a population on rap music this is not like 50 cent window shopper you're gonna listen to it all the way throughout this is not like a Morion's Icebox. You're going to listen to it all the way throughout. This ain't even like the Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. You're going to listen to that whole song throughout. These rappers nowadays, you listen, but you don't actually get anything from it. So with the rise of, I wouldn't call it necessarily fully religious music or secular, if that's the term. But it's going to be about music that is going to make you change your mind about certain things that we see in this world. That is literally what's going to pop off. Remember this video when I say it. And I can tell you straight up, I am going to be that contributor to that. Matter of fact, that was the aim since I ever started music. Yo, I'm sick of seeing same people everywhere I go. Not a day I can live without hearing that same flow. Follow words in the pack, yelling swag, and you're low and have intention to go and turn every girl into a hoe. Yeah, Ever since I listened to Eminem's Rock Bottom as a kid in middle school, I noticed about literature and that's what guided me to want to create music so people could you know have a better life or feel better while i changed their minds about certain topics now i'm not saying this is because what i'm thinking i'm saying this is because of what is happening around the world right now that you and i are witnessing so with that said if you're somebody who makes music reconsider what type of music you are listening to or creating and put more consideration into the thoughts of your music and how you are going to give this message to your audience. With that being said, thank you for listening and watching. Stick around because I do have to make a song. And then when I make a song, I am going to put it into a video format of you seeing how I create this song with the story behind it. So it is going to take probably another week or two. I really have to jump on making music right now. So let me actually go ahead and do that. Thank you for listening. It's your boy, Justin Omoe. Hit the thumbs up. And with that being said, peace. I'm out. And please have yourselves a damn good one.